Hey everybody, this is Guy the IT Guy. Today I'm going to show you basically programs running on the Rock 64 uh, as small board computer. Uh, mine holds 4 gigs of RAM. Uh, that's the way I ordered it. It's got a 64 gig eMMC on it. And everybody talks about, you know, like all the new Raspberry Pi Plus 3, uh, you know whatever um i haven't got one yet so i haven't got to play around and test with it yet but it, this board is pretty much the same price as the raspberry pi b plus three however you want to say it and i just wanted to make a quick little video show everybody exactly how everything runs here's here's what the video is all about running n64 games on moopin um this is an Android operating system. Um, it's not Linux based or anything like that. So uh, let's go ahead and get on into Moopin here. I forgot how to map my buttons. I'm using the controller I am using. It's a Nintendo Switch Pro controller. It's the wired version. Um, plugs in just nicely. It recognized it right away, which which was nice. Okay, save it. Come on, Link, get down the ladder, buddy. And I do have the sound turned off, so that way I don't get any kind of YouTube hits or anything. Even though I'm gonna mainly paste this, post this. <laughs> Sorry, the little fairy interrupted me, kind of distracted me. He jumped right in front of me because he wants me to go talk to the Dooku tree. But uh. Basically, even though this is going to be sitting up on YouTube, I uh, mainly created the video so that way I could link it, put it back into the RetroPie. Uh, everybody in the RetroPie forums, uh, they have, people are wanting to know how well it can play Nintendo 64. Um, there you can see it is playing Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Probably mispronounced that, I'm not sure. Uh, playing it at a good 20 frames per second do believe that is the same frame rate that it played on the original N64. Um, so when I get into Super Mario Smash Brothers of when things are gonna kinda hiccup, um, I currently do not have James Bond Goldeneye, but you know, pretty much if Legend of Zelda is playing this nice, you know, Goldeneye is gonna be just fine. Okay, let's back out of Legend of Zelda. Let's go ahead and Try some Star Fox. I've never played Star Fox 64, so this uh, this will be very interesting. I'll probably fall flat on my face on this one. Okay, uh, let's just go with the main game. There we go. Oh, that plays pretty smooth. Oh, pr plays pretty smooth. Wow, this plays really nice. A bunch of polygons floating around on here too. Just wish I could go to a first person view. Probably can, I just don't know how to do it because, uh. This is the first time playing Star Fox, Star Fox 64. Frames per second are still grasping right up there at around 30. It's, just, it's a little bit better than Legend of Zelda, but Legend of Zelda didn't require that many either. This is probably gonna suck down more because of all the polygons floating around. So yeah, there you go. Star Fox. Oop. Yeah, Star Fox plays pretty nice. This actually looks... I won't come back and play this later. This actually looks pretty interesting. Okay. Crashing and burning. Time to bail. Exit, please. Yes, I'm sure I want to exit. And on to Mr. Mario 64. Must have left Mario in a predicament. Just trying to get used to the controls a little bit here. Because uh, since I have dual joysticks, I do not have the little C buttons. I've got a couple bombs on the screen. Still doing 30. I think that's pretty, pretty agreeable. Some rolling balls are... I think Mario jump. It seems pretty smooth and fluid. And also, for 
Whoops, almost went over the edge. For those that do want to know, I am actually playing this on an Epson LCD projector. I am not encountering any lag whatsoever. It And it's actually nice full rich colors because I got the, the contrast boosted up. So the blacks are really black. And I just fell because I'm terrible at this game. <laughs> Get up, Mario, you jerk. Well... You can see there that uh, I am terrible at this game. Okay, get, it's getting kind of sketchy right there, kind of glitchy, but that's probably the ROM, more than likely. Because it seems to be getting sketchy in that one play. Oh, right on the edge of where the balls are coming down the ramp. Okay. But, it's, is it affecting gameplay? Is it hurting it? No, definitely not. I gotta get the camera control back so I don't run off this plank again. It's about the size of a freaking popsicle stick. And hopefully, oop. Hopefully my voice is not deflecting off to the side too much because I'm having to look upwards. I've got the screen projecting above my TV. Um, because I don't have a lot of wall space. Hey, we made it to Bomb Arm King. Oh, there we go. Super Mario 64, it's playing flawlessly. You know, with the exception of a couple of little fluttering glitches here and there. Um, other than that, which, you know, that's more than likely the ROM causing that issue. I I haven't had any issues. Where I've had issues is trying to play this on the Raspberry Pi 3. Um, uh, yes, yeah, save and quit. Right, you're playing it on, trying to play it on the Raspberry Pi 3, it's right when you get to the Mario face here, this is where, you know, it's not any so much as the glitching, but when you get the little Mario hand out here and you start to move it around, it just goes really slow. And I can't get my Mario hand out, but I don't care. Mario, you're over. Here we go. Super Smash Brothers. Okay, press start. Gotcha. One player mode, check. One player game. Check. I will be Yoshi, just that way I can get... I'm going to have it on very easy, so that way I can get to the Yoshi level quickly. Uh, at least that's the way it happened last time. Hopefully it happens the same way. Uh, I got to the Yoshi level at second round. Oh, multiple Yoshis versus 18 Yoshis. Here we go, here's the test. Frame rate's at 55. Let's see what we can keep the frame rate at. Down to 33 already. Still playable. Definitely still playable. Beat up Blue Yoshi. Somebody just died. Oh, I killed Blue Yoshi. Okay. Oh, come on, Yoshi's quit running away. So, 36, 33. Definitely still playable. It doesn't feel like it's. Oops. Lagging. Just feels like I'm lagging because I'm terrible at this. Oh, double kick. It's not putting that many Yoshis on the screen, and, but then again, I don't think it puts multiple, like, thousands of Yoshis on there. Yeah, like, the full 18 compliment. I mean, I could probably let it sit there and let them drag them out. Let's see how many Yoshis they drop. Looks like it's only going to be four at a time. Boom. But, as you can see, my frame rates, uh, they're pretty much uh, staying up around 30. I'm kind of distracted, so I can't see too much. But, it looks like... Oh, 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 yo, 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 no, 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 I'm gonna die. Oh, I lost. Oh, that's right. That's fine. Boom. You guys are done around. And I kicked the barrel. That was stupid. I thought I was Blue Yoshi for some reason. Now I see why I lose. I get myself confused. Boom! Cheap shot! Hope I get another cheap shot point. I didn't know you got cheap shots points in this game. I usually played like Beetle Racing or Turok Dinosaur Hunter when I had my N64. Well, I still have my N64. It's just in the closet right now. Because i got to find a good controller. I 
And we're up to 38 since there's only two Yoshis on the screen. 42, 50, 46. But keep hanging on. You're done. Oh, no cheap shot. That's quite the bummer. I was wanting another cheap shot again, but I guess I didn't get one. Hmm. That's okay. Holy cow. Start new game. Looks a little funny when the little tabs spin around, but other than that. <clears throat> Hello, text. <clears throat> See, like, uh, when this would spool up here, or load up, the Mario house wouldn't be quite visible. The duck's head would be missing. The oh, the Koopa Troopa. Well, it wasn't his head. I think it was his wings that were missing. Ma Luigi would come out, and he'd just be floating in the air. It just wouldn't load properly on the Raspberry Pi. But, as you can see, it is running just fine in Moopin 64, which is excellent. I like that. Okay. Which, we proved a point there. And we're out. Yeah, like I said before, this is a quad-core, 4 gig RAM. 64 gig EMMC. Um, I can't wait until the the Hectacore comes out so that way I can give that one a spin. See if maybe I can run the Yoshi maybe run the Yoshi program. We're just gonna call it that. I'm gonna run the Yoshi program on the new one. I've, I haven't had any problems. Uh, I know I didn't have enough Nintendo 64 ROMs on there, but I just threw those on tonight so that way I could do a quick demo. Although, hopefully, my time has not runneth over. Otherwise, I'm going to have to do some editing on this video. But there you go. Go ahead and click the like button below. Leave a comment. And I will see you later. And thank you for watching.